So I reckon we'll cut it in half. Oh, the chicken. Oh, I forgot to buy carrots. Just I need, oh, I'm cutting this in half. A cup and a half of milk, a cup and a half. That's three quarters cup of milk, right? Half of a half is a fourth. Half of one is half. A half plus a fourth is three fourths. A cup and a half. I wonder if it'd be weird if I just dumped it right on top of this milk. I'm um, so I'm not measuring. Oh, I need a pot. Melting the butter. It might be too hot. I'm like frying the butter. So we'll just sprinkle it in as we go. Let's start with that. And then salt and pepper. I should probably wash these. That looks kind of gross. Salt pepper time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter. Oh, I don't even have my pie shells ready. I bought, I bought the Pillsbury deep dish for the, for the pie. I bought the food line thin, thin dish, shallow dish. Um, put on top, we need more flour. But probably not that much flour. Okay, maybe that was too much. Oh yeah, that's way too thick. I was like, I'm making biscuits instead of chicken pot pie. I don't think this is right. Now it just looks like mashed potatoes and gravy. Maybe I'll add milk. It's burning. I don't need this much. I Get rid of some of that. We'll just sit these mashed potatoes to the side. So we're only doing corn. I use green beans instead of peas because peas are gross. I don't like peas and diced white potatoes. Am I done? I hate I didn't get carrots. This is up the color scheme. All right, got my chicken shredded. Just gonna dump that in with everything else. I'm gonna add more pepper and thyme. I don't even know what thyme tastes like. Maybe even a little bit more salt, but probably not because I put all that chicken broth in there. So I'll probably leave it alone before I mess it up. That is some thick, <laughs> that is some thick chicken pot pie. Whatever, it'll be fine. We won't eat it anyway. So they're a little bit, I mean, I didn't mean for it to do all that. Did I mean for that to happen? I don't think that's what I usually do. That is really crumbly. You know what? I think I'm gonna put all this in a bowl, pop it in the microwave and warm it up. And maybe it'll be mushier, I don't know. Maybe I should wet it. This is never gonna flatten out enough. I'm just, I'm gonna sit that to the side for a minute. Do that. Sit it right on top of there like that. And that is how this should have turned out. Obviously that was too much flour. I never used a rolling pin in my life. I actually forgot I had this. I've been buying them at estate sales and antique shops and stuff because I, I, I want to get this rolling pin rack and 
display them in my kitchen, but I can't find a rolling pin rack. Actually, I, I do know where there's a rolling pin rack. The guy bought it at the estate sale that I was at. He got to it faster, and he's got a little antique booth in town, and it's hanging up there on the wall with a not for sale tag on it. How do you get this thing to roll? And he will not sell it. My mama has asked him 10 times. Whew. This poor thing. It don't roll. Oh yeah, look at that. That is near about perfect. Phew, this is why I don't cook. Whoops, 425. Oh, I thought I was recording, but I won't, so I cut the little things in it. Gonna be the prettiest pies you ever seen. I reckon I'm gonna have to melt this butter. I'm running out of bowls. You know what I don't have? A brusher. We're gonna take the spatula. That plate is very hot. Take some melted butter and just do that. It's gotta be the same thing, right? Same thing. Ugly, but it's gonna be good. 